Hi, this is question 3 from the AQA June 2013 Mechanics 1 exam paper. Um, in this question we're told that a ship travels through water that is moving um, due east at a speed of 1.4 meters per second. The ship travels due north relative to the water at a speed of 7 meters per second. And the resultant velocity of the ship is V meters per second on a bearing alpha. So we're first of all asked to find V. Well, um, what we need to do here is we need to put our um, two velocities um, heads to tails with each other so that we can decide the direction of the resultant. So if I just grab this over here. And I'll grab this one from over here. Okay, so um, I've arranged them um, heads to tails, so um, they've made a vector chain, and the resultant is going to be the sum of this vector chain, um, which is going to be in the direction uh, that there. Okay, and a couple of arrows in there. So this is 1.4. And this is 7. Okay, so our first job is to find um, the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle, and that will tell us what the um, resultant velocity. Now, using Pythagoras, I can find V because I know that V squared is going to be equal to 1.4 squared plus. 7 squared. So this tells us that V is going to be equal to, and it works out to be, to three significant figures, 7.14 meters per second. Okay, so that's the speed V. Um, for part B, we want to find alpha, um, and we need to give our answer as a three um, figure bearing. Okay, so our alpha is going to be, but if I just move this over here, and put the north line in here, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and now alpha is um, this here. We're trying to find this angle here. So we'll call that alpha. But in order to work that out, what we need is we need to know what this angle here is. Um, so this angle here, I'm going to call theta. Okay, so um, using trigonometry, because this is a right angle triangle, um, I know that the tan of this angle is going to be equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So I can say that um, tan theta is going to be equal to the opposite side, which is 7, divided by 1.4, which is the adjacent side. Um, and that actually works out to be 5. So using my calculator, I can decide that theta is going to be the inverse tan of 5, um, and that works out to be 78.7 degrees. So now alpha is going to be, because this makes a right angle, because this is north and this is east, um, alpha is going to be 90, take away this, so over here, we say that alpha is going to be equal to 90, take away 78.7, which gives us 11.3 degrees. Now here it's asked us to give our answer as a three-figure bearing, to the nearest degree. So that means that um, our bearing alpha is going to be equal to 0, 1, 1 degrees. Okay, hope that was useful. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.